we have new neighbors. Now what's funny is there's a Luna out here somewhere. Hi neighbors. Oh, there's a kitty. Hey, did you see your friends? You know, there's four deer sitting here and you just like walked right by. Guess what I got? This should be clothing and some gear. I, I, obviously, I don't think it's my backpack because I don't think it would fit in here. But yeah, we got clothes. That's a cool little clothing bag. All right, let's see what we got. So, camp shoes slash Crocs. I got some socks. Powder light jacket from Columbia, which is a nice puppy. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, it's got the little, the dots. <laughs> if you've never seen this stuff, the, uh, the little thermal reflecting dots are super effective. <laughs> yeah, these are like thermal sleep pants. So those will be nice on cold nights. And then I think this is a shirt. Yep. Wow, that's a really light <laughs> rain jacket. Okay, and it has a hood. That's nice. Oh, outdoor research. Excellent. Like, I <laughs> this this weighs less than this. <laughs> and uh, okay, we got a wicking underlayer. Oh, here comes the kitty. Got a nice outdoor research long sleeve. Oh, it, oh, you can actually close the collar up. Okay, now, now it all makes sense. You're gonna see a tail go by in front of the camera here in a second. My little booty shorts. There goes a cat. <laughs> Luna, get out of the way. Hey, move. <laughs> move, you're in my shot. Here she comes. Yeah. No. <laughs> you you can't be <laughs> you can't be in here. And then I got some nice gloves. Outdoor Research is a major donor for Warrior Expeditions. Um, obviously, they do most of the clothing. That's pretty incredible because Outdoor Research makes some of the best outdoor clothing that you can get. There's something in here. Oh, okay. Rain covers. Little cutoff gloves for when it's really sunny and you don't want to sunburn your hands. I'm going to try all this stuff on here. I'm not. These look like they're pants. And they're convertible pants. So midway down you have a zipper. They're really lightweight. That's nice. A good old sun hat. Also from Apple Research. I'm going to go ahead and move some stuff around. And then we'll do a little fashion show. All right, so let's do the tops first and then we'll kind of go from there. I'm not gonna take the labels off of anything until I'm sure they fit, but the shirt fits great. You got this nice sun hat, which shouldn't be an issue with fit. Yep, it'll work fine. The nice thing is it's this like slightly stretchy fabric. And all of this stuff is synthetic and wicking, which is really nice. So let me button this up and make sure it actually fits. Pretty much the perfect size. This would be for sleeping, cold days where you know you're not gonna be taking this on and off kind of thing. Rain jacket, I'm gonna want the rain jacket to fit kind of big. So let's hope that this isn't like super tight. Nah. Yeah, I still got. Hi, Luna. <laughs> she, yeah, she's right in the corner of the frame. And then the great thing about this is a hood with a bit of a bill to it, so that it doesn't. Well, it's new, so. And the puffy. Sleeves aren't too long. It's not too baggy. 
it's a little baggy, but you kind of, you know, you don't want it to be tight because I may have two layers on underneath this. Hopefully I'm not having to wear this stuff too much because I would rather not be freezing my ass off if I can help it. <laughs> All right, let's try some gloves. But yeah, you just, you do that so you're not having to worry about your hands getting burned and stuff like that. And then these are my warm gloves, which are a little bit longer cuff, so that like the coat can go over it and you seal in your insulation. So that all fits. That's all good. And I'm gonna turn the camera off and then we're gonna do some lower leg stuff. All right, well, the shorts fit. The, uh, my shoes are on the way, but they come, they're coming directly from Amazon, so I'll have those a little bit later. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this on the, uh, calves. Come on, focus. There we go. Leave no trace. Yes, Luna. You can't go outside. It's dark out. <laughs> You'll get snatched by a coyote. Okay, let's try on... The insulated pants, the regular pants. I think they sent the wrong size. <laughs> They're 4232s. All right, let's see about these pants. Yeah, those are big. <laughs> we're we're gonna have to switch those. That's that's how much I have to rake in the belt to get them to fit. All right, so the pants are a no. All right. There we go. 99.9% success rate. But yeah, all right. Signing off. <laughs> um, yeah, it's March 14th. <laughs> Welcome to Colorado. So two workouts today shoveling this and then snowshoeing <laughs> that's a workout it's really heavy wet stuff too oh boy just a beautiful colorado day it's actually not bad it's like 25 degrees something like that which with all the gear i've got on i'm actually quite warm just Trudging along here. Well, I'm almost back to the car, and it's snowing harder now than it was, as you can see. It's still nice out, like, I'm still warm. Glad I brought the snowshoes. And, uh, just a good spring day of training in Colorado for the Continental Divide. <laughs> Later. So I'm just hiking through U Valley Park, going over to the Garden of the Gods, and then coming back. I got a person come up the trail. It is March 20th, and it is the first official day of unemployment. Yesterday was my last day at work. Close on the house on the 31st, so in about two weeks, I will be officially homeless. It feels pretty good, to be honest. <laughs> I was thinking about it as I was kind of getting down here, and I think it's the first time since, like, 2000 that I haven't had a job or school. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to do a nice long hike today, spend the rest of the weekend, and next week... Finishing up with packing the house and getting ready to go. Hopefully I can see some bighorn sheep as I get closer to Garna Gods. The weather's beautiful today. It's supposed to be near 70. And yeah, just enjoying a nice little walk. Well, still no bighorns. So I'm at not quite three hours and like seven or eight miles, something like that. Beautiful day. It started warming up quite a bit once I got over into Garden of the Gods. Got a nice like four mile walk back to the house. So check in with you later. Almost home. It's gonna be about 13 miles. 
Just people flying kites at the park up here. Seems like the hiking pole camera mount will work pretty well for my phone. It's a lot easier than holding it out at arm's length. And I get bigger shots like that. <laughs> I'm gonna get this video out probably tomorrow morning. So just an update on where things are at. And it's pretty much a month exactly from now. So, all right, later.